Algebra 2, 8.7a, we're going to talk about direct quadratic variation. We talked about this last year in Algebra 1 at the end of the year. We also talked about it earlier in this playlist in video 6.9a. If you've missed any of the previous videos and you become lost or confused during this one, my advice is to click in the description and find out where you lost your place, okay? So as I said, we discussed direct variation in video 6.9a back in chapter 6. And it said direct variation is a functional relationship that can be described by an equation y equals kx, where k is a non-zero constant. It won't change. If we have the quotient of y and k, y divided by k equals x squared, or if we have y equals k times x squared, the y will vary directly as the square of x. So the y will change depending on the value of the square of x. But it won't vary directly if we do y times x squared equals k. See? See how we have y equals k times x squared? If we do y times x squared, it won't vary directly if we set it to equal k. So using real numbers, let's see what I'm talking about. If we have y's value as an 18 and k's value as a 2, and x as a 3, 3 squared, we have 18 divided by 2 equals 3 squared, which is a 9, isn't it? If we change that 3 to a 4, that's going to make that change. So that y value, that 18, is going to vary depending on this value here. If this is a 4, then that means it's a 16, which means that's got to be a 32. Same thing here. If we change this to a 4, that's 16 times 2, that's going to change that to a 32. But if we do multiplication of the y and x value, then if we change this to a 4, that's not going to change the 18. It's going to change the product, isn't it? That's going to make that change, not the 18. So that's what we're talking about. So for direct quadratic variation, the x is just squared. y varies directly as the square of x if there's some positive non-zero number, k, such that y equals kx squared. In this equation, a equals pi r squared. Well, this is the equation for the area of a circle. And it shows that the area varies directly as the square of the radius and the pi is constant. It's the constant of variation. So we can find an equation of variation where y varies directly as the square of x and y equals 12 when x equals 2. We write an equation of variation and find k. So we're going to solve for k. So here's our equation y equals kx squared. We're going to use 12 for y and 2 for x. So we have 2 squared, don't we? We do our 2 squared and get a 4. Now all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by this 4 and it simplifies to 3 equals k. See? We could also multiply each side by the reciprocal of 4, 1 fourth, and we'd get that 3. I just think it's easier to divide when there's no fractions. So now we write an equation. We have y equals 3x squared, and we did it. We found our equation of variation. See? Now we can find an equation of variation where y varies directly as the square of x and y equals 175 when x equals 5. So again, we write an equation of variation and find k. So here's our y equals kx squared. We substitute in our values 175 and 5, so now 5 is squared, which is a 25. We isolate the k by dividing both sides by this 25. That creates a 1 here, doesn't it? So we have 1k, and 25 goes into 175 7 times, so 7 equals k. Now we write an equation, y equals 7x squared. We can also say y divided by 7 equals x squared. See? We know that y will vary directly depending on the value of x squared. 7 is our constant of variation. Its value stays constant. So, in a nutshell, Yes, y varies directly when it's written as y divided by k equals x squared or y equals kx squared. But no, y doesn't vary directly if we multiply these two together set to equal the constant. See? That's the no-no. All right? Our next video is 8.7b, and we're going to talk about inverse and joint quadratic variation. We talked about inverse and joint variation last year. 
And we talked about it a little bit this year, too. So we're going to talk about quadratic variation. I'm going to add this video to the Algebra 2 playlist. If you want to see about direct variation from Algebra 1, there will be links to 12.5a and b where we actually solve some problems. And the direct variation video from this playlist, 6.9a, will be there, so it will be easier for you to find. And all those previous videos for Chapter 8 that we just did, those 11 previous videos, all right? I'm trying to make your life easy the best I can. So I hope you're doing well. I want you to keep trying. I want you to keep plotting forward, and I hope you watch every video so that you make your life easy. And I will see you next video. Bye.